Which side are you on, Team ACOG or Team No ACOG? It seems like that's exactly how the Rainbow Six Siege community is divided right now. Everybody is either talking about how much they hate the ACOG shuffle, which is totally reasonable, it's probably the side that I would be on as well, but then there's also the side of the community that's talking about how everyone should just have an ACOG and they need to stop taking it away from everybody. I mean, it's just like a super weird situation right now, and it's, it's so strange, especially considering Rainbow Six Siege is such a strategy-sided game. You know, this would make sense maybe in a game like Call of Duty or, or something like that, and I'm not trying to hate on Call of Duty, I love Call of Duty, but it's just such different games, really, you know? And for such a strategy-sided game, it's weird to see so much meta, so much of the strategy to be within the attachment choices you know what i mean that's just that's strange that's not how it works and that's really not how it worked for a long time in rainbow six siege up until just a few years ago and now of course we have this whole acog meta ever since it came back and you have ash's pick rate up to 60 70 percent and now doc's pick rate is going up to that number two so there's just a whole lot going on here really just a whole lot to unpack and i want to hear what your guys thoughts are so you have the issue with Ubisoft constantly giving the ACOG to certain defenders and you know you saw that with Wamai, with Malusi, and they were really good for a long time and some would say they were overpowered, Ubisoft would say they were overpowered, and I totally get that, they were definitely overpicked, and then as soon as they realize that, they take the ACOG away, and now their pick rate is going to go way down, and you're going to see the cycle continue because all the other operators, all the other defenders who do have ACOG, their pick rate is going to absolutely skyrocket from this season, next season, and so on until Ubisoft comes back in and decides to take it away again and the cycle just repeats itself you know they keep on adding it to other people removing it from people and then those people who already have the ACOG are going to continue to thrive it's just like a vicious cycle you know what I mean they take the ACOG away everyone finds a new operator that they want to play it's and it's kind of weird you know like how I talked about just a few minutes ago like people really are choosing their operator just based on if they have ACOG or not. And you know, that's not always the case. I'm not saying that that's how everyone does it, but a lot of the time that's really how it is. And Ubisoft is making efforts so that, you know, people are choosing their operator for their abilities and for their gadgets rather than their loadout. And you know, that's exactly what they tried to do with Malusi. They took away Malusi's ACOG. They gave her an extra Banshee so that people would choose her for her Banshee and then her pick rate still went way down. I don't know what else Ubisoft could see from this besides for the fact that there's a serious ACOG meta problem right now and what they're doing to try to solve that, what they're doing to try to save the strategy side of the game is just not working anymore. So I would not be surprised at all if in the next three weeks or whatever it is when we get our next season, if Ash doesn't have an ACOG and if Doc doesn't have an ACOG. And does this solve the problem for right now? Sure, but then literally right after that, they will be choosing other operators with ACOGs and it's just going to continue on. And I really wouldn't be surprised if in the next three weeks or however long it is until our next season that we find out Doc is getting his ACOG removed and then, you know, all of a sudden Rook is going to be the new meta operator. And he was literally one of the lowest pick rate operators, but I guarantee that's how it would go if Doc lost his ACOG. I guarantee Rook would be the next meta operator. And that just goes to show, like, Rook is awful right now. Rook is really not good. No one wants to play him. If he got an ACOG, he would be the most desirable defender on the entire squad. Guarantee it. So we have the side of the ACOG shuffle. You know, I don't really know how many people could really be on this side. In the long term, it doesn't help out anybody. As you can see, Ubisoft just ends up taking it away anyway. And then we find new operators to go and, and main. And we really saw this all the way back from the time of the 1.5 time scope. You know, you had your Warden Warriors who would just go insane with the MPX 1.5. And I totally get it. I mean, it was really good. It was a really good gun, a really good attachment but no one was choosing Warden to play Warden, you know what I mean? So really this stems back much further than we can really all think, and now it just happens to be with the ACOG. That's the most desirable part of this game right now. So, you know, you have the ACOG shuffle, and that's it's just, it's just a weird situation, you know? ACOG's getting passed around, defenders having really high pick rates one season, and then the next season they're all the way back down, and then, you know, defenders having really low pick rates, and then getting an ACOG and going all the way back up. You saw that with Malusi. It's 
just it's a it's a weird situation not really sure what direction they're gonna go with it and then there's also the side of the argument that talks about how there should just be no more ACOGs in the game and this doesn't really seem like a very good solution to me you know we already had the point in the game where you know the defenders didn't have the ACOGs it wasn't a problem there was no issues there so I don't know why we would choose that as a solution that would be a cop-out solution to me if that makes sense so I don't really think that's solving anything I think that's kind of just getting rid of the problem not really giving us a solution and then there's the side of the argument where we should just give everyone a cog now this is definitely far from any solution in my opinion you're gonna have some crazy metas arise from this i mean i could only imagine how people are going to react when they get jaeger and bandits mp7 all with a cogs and you know it's just it's just not it's not a solution i don't think but that does leave a very slippery slope, you know, you can't take away all ACOGs, you can't give everyone an ACOG. So, I mean, is the shuffling of the ACOGs really the only answer right now? I'm not sure. I was scrolling through Reddit and I saw some things that were potential fixes to this. Somebody said that they should add an ACOG glint, and if you don't really know what that means, like, imagine how in, like, you know, Warzone or whatever, when someone's looking at you with a sniper rifle and you can see the little, you know, the little shining glint, I guess, is the only way to describe it, uh, when that's looking at you, I mean, maybe they could add that from the ACOG, make it a little bit less desirable. I'm not really sure what else there is to do besides for nerfing the ACOG overall. I mean, there's no doubt that the ACOG is a little bit too powerful right now, considering it's entirely dictating the whole meta for Rainbow Six Siege. So, like, it is strange, but at the same time, I just, I just don't really know where this ACOG shuffle is getting us. I mean, it's very clearly gotten us no progress over the last two seasons. I'm not really sure what direction they're heading in because, I mean, it really is just an endless cycle. If they're going to keep on doing this every season, that's exhausting. You know what I mean? And they don't want to keep doing that. Ubisoft does not want to have to keep going into these wind deltas at the end of every season or the middle of every season and seeing that Wamai, Malusi, and Doc are all getting picked over 50% of the time. And what's the one thing in common with all of them? ACOG. They don't want to keep doing that and it's going to continue. I promise you. Wamai and Malusi no longer have their ACOG. Cog, Doc is the player to be playing right now. This is going to result in Doc's pick rate skyrocketing, and we're going to see that in the next wind delta that we're shown. You know that that chart that they always show at the middle or the beginning of every single season. Uh, you know the, the pick rate is going to skyrocket, and I guarantee they're going to take away his A Cog, thinking it's going to solve all the problems, and then everyone's going to go play Rook, like how I said. It's just such a weird situation, you know. And I, I get what they're trying to do, making the game so that people are picking their options for the strategy side for the the gadget the ability but I don't know I don't know if you can really change the flaw of man the flaw of the Rainbow Six Siege players which is just being tempted to play any operator with an ACOG and I cannot blame them because I'm 100% a part of that you know I would rather if I had to choose I would rather play an operator with an ACOG than without because of how powerful it is, especially on defense. So I totally get it. I'm not saying, oh, all you ACOG players out there are ruining the game. No, I get it. I, I think that there needs to be other solutions that make it less, you know, enticing to play an ACOG player, to play that ACOG attachment because it's literally choosing the entirety of a game. It's causing players to just choose their operators based on just that. And that is so far from what Ubisoft wants. We know that, so I'm not really sure how they're going to respond to this. I'm not sure if they're going to change anything, but who knows what direction they're going to head in? Who knows what the future looks like for ACOG? Who knows what the future looks like for the meta? Who knows this whole ACOG meta may be done and over with. People may get sick and tired of it in the span of the next year. And maybe Ubisoft knows that and they're just trying to milk it for a little bit longer until people get sick of it. But if I had to guess, that's probably not the case. But I do want to hear what you guys think down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about this whole ACOG meta right now. The ACOG shuffle, as some people are calling it. What's your guys' opinions? How would you fix it? Does it need to be fixed? These are all really valid questions that I think need to get answered right now at this time as we head into the next season. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.